Hi everyone, my name is Kate Kaltoff and welcome to a Stamping to Share video. Well, it's getting very close to Christmas and so we're it's about that time that we're resorting to gift cards. And so this is a very cute little gift card that you can make up and just have several on hand. Sometimes for those unexpected guests that pop over, they bring you a gift and you're like, uh-oh. So then you can just reach up into your cupboard and go, oh, and I have one for you too, and here it is. And so this is just adorable. We're going to open up the little string here that keeps it closed. And when you open it up, you can see that it's a regular Stampin' Up! envelope. And on this side, there's a little place to insert your gift card. And so let's go ahead and get started recreating this very, very cute gift card with the little teddy bear here that says, have yourself a very Merry Christmas. So the stamp set that we're going to be using, actually it's a bundle because we'll be using the punch too, is Cookie Cutter Christmas. And this is available as a bundle only through January 3rd. So I would be sure to get this while you can still get 10% off. This is something not already in your craft room. It probably needs to be because it's probably one of the most adorable Christmas sets we've had. And then the next thing that you're going to need for punches anyway is something to make the hat. This is on sale at 40% off through January 3rd, but it's only while supplies last. So if you haven't already gotten this and you want this punch in your collection, I would not hesitate much longer. I would get that on your order. And of course, the next thing that we're going to do is um, punch a banner. And that banner is um, the punch we're using is the duet banner punch. And so I'll show you how to curve your image on here so that it curves in the shape of the punch. So let's start with an envelope from Stampin' Up! This is one of our wonderfully smooth Whisper White envelopes. I won't use anything else. Stampin' Up! has me so spoiled. We are just going to go ahead and fold this in half and I'm going to use a bone folder to give it a real nice crease. And then we're going to open it up and this is the side, the right side, that we need to cut away. See where this seam line is here down the center? I'm just going to cut to the left of that seam line and bring that up and then we're just going to cut away this flap. Actually, I'm going to do it from this direction. There we go. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lick this shut. And our envelope is now ready for a gift card, but of course we want to decorate that. So we're just going to close it up and we're going to use two real red panels. Both of these panels are cut at two and one fourth by four and a quarter. And we're going to put some dimensionals on these. So let's me go ahead and do that. All right, as you can see, I put a dimensional in each corner and this is going to decorate our envelope front and back. And the reason we're using dimensionals is we're going to use some Whisper White Thick Baker's Twine. Now this is much thicker than regular Baker's Twine and so we need a little breathing room so this, this has room to um, move about and just look nice and loose and flowing. So I've taken 18 inches of our thick white Baker's Twine and I'm going to wrap this around the envelope and just to get it out of the way so it's not bugging me while I'm working with it, I'm going to tie it into a bow. Alright, so once you have it in a bow, you can just move that where you want it for right now just to get it out of the way. And we're going to take one of these panels and we're just going to set this right over the top of our folded envelope. And then we're going to flip it over and we're going to do the exact same thing to the other side. Alright, so we have our envelope covered. Now the next thing we need to do is cut some ovals on the Big Shot machine. Now I've already gone ahead and done that. The ovals that I'm using are from our Layering Ovals Framelits from Stampin' Up! You get eight straight edged ovals and seven scalloped ovals. And so these are the ovals that I use. If you start with the very smallest oval and work your way up, you're going to use the largest straight edge oval and then the fifth largest scallop oval with real red paper and the sixth largest scallop oval with the um, Whisper White. So two Whisper White ovals and one real red. So let's go ahead and take these off and we're going to go ahead and just layer these up with some multi-purpose liquid glue. 
So I am going to, now normally I don't use glue with Whisper White, but we're gonna have the bear cover the front of this. So I'm just putting a little bit through the center. And the reason I like to use the um, glue so much is because I've got that little bit of wiggle room. I don't ever seem to be able to put something straight down, um, especially with the camera here. It's really hard for me to see all the time what I'm doing. And so I love the glue because it allows me just to wiggle that right into place. And so then we're going to set this one on here. So now we've just layered these three ovals together. And then we can go ahead and put this onto the front of our gift card. Let me make sure I'm doing that correctly. And we're going to, again, add a little bit of glue to the back. And we're going to set this in right here. So that is what that looks like. And we are now ready to do a little stamping. So we're going to set this aside. And the stamping, of course, is going to be done on a stamp mat because we're using a photopolymer stamp set. So you'll get better images if you use a mat. Now I just have a piece of scrap, Whisper White. Then I'm going to take the, the little teddy bear here and I've got some crumb cake. That's a great color for teddy bears. And we just inked him up and we're gonna set him down here. Give him a good little press and remove him and then we're going to wait just a little bit for this to dry so that we can go ahead and stamp our eyes and our nose but i like that to be a little bit drier and so i'm going to set this aside for a second and we're going to work on that hat and the other punch that we need so we are going to do the sentiment next and i have the sentiment right here and because I want to make sure that it's curved to match um, one of the banners on our duet banner punch, I'm going to go ahead and set this onto my block at a curved angle. You can do that with photopolymer stamps. You can just kind of curve them. So now you can see how that is curved on the block. So that should fairly match up with the punch. Then we're going to take another piece of scrap Whisper White. And this I'm going to ink up with our memento tuxedo black ink so i've got that right up here and we'll just set this in like so give it a good press lift it up and it says have yourself a very merry christmas i love that especially with the little matching teddy bear then we're going to flip the punch over and we can just bring it right here and we'll line that up and look how that curved around to just match the sides of the punch here so I'll give that a press, and we're ready to go ahead and put that onto the front of our card. So we're going to flip this over, and I'll put a couple of dimensionals on here. And then we'll just set this right here on the front of our card. So we'll um, set it right here. Give it a little press, and that way our little bear will have kind of a banner to stand on. So let's finish stamping the bear. He looks like he's soaked into the paper real good now. And again, I'm going to use the Memento Black ink. It's tuxedo black. And we're just going to stamp this cute little face onto our teddy bear, just like so. And then we can go ahead and punch out our bear. So we're going to bring the cookie cutter builder punch into the picture again, flip it upside down. And we're going to layer this in. And what I'm doing is I'm making sure that these edges of the punch are in line with his, um, with the little line here on his neck. We're gonna give it a little punch. And one thing I love about this particular punch is that you are actually punching within the stamped lines. So that makes him look really authentically like a little bear. So now we're gonna flip this over and we're going to add a couple more dimensionals here. Take off the PLEs and then we'll set this onto the front of our gift card. So he's, he's looking pretty cute just like this. So if you're really in a hurry, you could skip the hat and everything else and he's just adorable like that. But to make him a little more festive and jolly, we're going to add punched out hat with that jolly hat builder punch. And so we're going to need a little bit of scrap real red, which I've got right here. It's going to do a little punch. And that's where our hat comes in. And then we need also the trimmings of the hat punched out in 
whisper white. So I've got some scrap whisper white and we're gonna make another punch out. And here's our little hat pieces. We'll also want to punch out a little bow. So I've got the, the little bow here and we're back to using the cookie cutter builder punch. And I'm gonna set this here. So now let's go ahead and finish up this adorable gift card. We're going to take the multi-purpose liquid glue. I'm just going to put a little glue here right at the top of his head. And we're going to add this cute Santa hat, just like so. And then you got the little bit of room there with the glue to wiggle that into place so that it's centered on his head. And then add a little bit more glue now to the brim of the hat. And we're going to add this little um, accent piece here. And then of course we want to add this little bit of um, poof at the end of his hat. So we're gonna add a little glue here and we'll put this little poof on at the end of the hat. And then don't touch that for a little bit, leave that a little time to set up. And then just because it's so easy, I'm going to take a, a glue dot and add this little bow tie. So I've got a little glue dot here on the back of the bow tie and we'll just set this right here under his chin. And he's all done. Isn't he adorable? So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial showing you how to make these sweet gift cards. Here's the card I just did. Here's the card I had done in advance. Thank you so much for stopping by Stamping to Share. I truly appreciate you. If you're interested in placing a Stampin' Up! product order, see my blog at www.stampintoshare.com and I have links there to my online store. Have a great day and Merry Christmas. Bye-bye.